Well, it is a Wednesday morning, and we're going to have just a couple of raindrops today to kind of work with, and also a mainly cloudy sky, and that's kind of what we're getting over in Lawrence right now. There's a shot of KU, and we're looking at uh, basically Manhattan here with a quiet morning. Uh, there's been a little bit of rain pretty far north northeast. Uh, no fog to worry with. The temperatures are actually in the low 50s for the Little Apple. And across the capital city, we have some clouds. There's been some sprinkles from time to time, but uh, the more concentrated showers have been pretty far northeast as well. Uh, the temperatures are not bad at all. Currently, we're looking at a 49. It's a little bit higher than yesterday, and the dew point is also higher, so there's more moisture. Our wind is east south east at five. Now that's going to steadily pick up all day today, and it's going to become very breezy. Currently, it is uh, looking at a pattern that's going to be pretty similar to this. This is yesterday. Concordia hit 60, and Topeka hit 58. Kansas City just below that, and we didn't drop off terribly much through the overnight with some cloud cover. Kansas City 48. Now Emporia is. At 42, and there's Manhattan, as I mentioned, one of our warmer spots currently. Nationally, instead of looking at all those 30s that we had earlier this week, uh, things warming up just a little bit. 40s getting up toward Omaha and St. Louis and Detroit. And so there's not a great deal of cold air. Bismarck right now at 28. And the west southwest is still pretty warm here. A lot of 50s and 60s in that area. And some of that's trying to get pulled in just a bit with a south wind. So we had some light rain in our upper county, still a little bit outside of Hiawatha and the Highland area, getting through Troy and St. Joe. And that's kind of moving off toward the east northeast right now. So we have that lifting band kind of working up toward Lincoln and Omaha. Uh, that's getting farther away. Uh, a lot of this happening out toward the Rockies, uh, kind of clipping Goodland and Cold. Colby right now is also lifting toward I-80, so a lot of it may be north of us all day today. And then as we get into evening and overnight, uh, we may get a push of rain that comes up, but it looks like that may miss the vast majority of us, kind of clipping the east and southeast areas. So it might be a north thing today and a south thing through the overnight, and much of it missing Manhattan and Topeka. So we'll see how this plays out. As we go through the early morning, those showers leaving, but there's going to be some hit or miss activity for the afternoon. And then through the overnight, we'll have that little spin kind of come up from the south, and that will give us some rainfall at times, and then that will gradually leave. Not too much clearing through late Thursday, maybe partial clearing late day. So for today, we're going to try to get into the mid-60s with widely scattered showers. Rain a tad more likely tonight through early Thursday morning, and then that goes east, but the clearing will take a while. And then once we go through Thursday night and Friday, we do get decreasing clouds, and it looks very pleasant on Friday with a high near 70, a partly cloudy sky and light wind. I absolutely love the look of that. And then on Saturday, we deal with a 74 high. That sounds very pleasant. But there might be some thunderstorms build in the afternoon that you have to watch out for. Scattered showers and storms as well on Sunday, a very spring like weekend. And then we'll get into more sunshine toward late Monday and Tuesday with daytime highs still in the upper 60s. Hopefully, this rain's not too heavy. We still need that ground to dry out a bit more. This is KSNT News. We're coming right back after this.